services for C-level events, so to speak. So I only do corporate work um, today under contracts in the box limited. No events, no, no, uh, sorry, no weddings, um, or but 50th birthdays or any of that. And I'm sure the industry there's a lot of money there, but I decided to focus 100% in the corporate uh, in the corporate world. So some of my clients are Huawei and Oracle, and we've worked together for quite a number of years. As I said, seven and a half years. Um, around uh, in 2017. I launched a book, um, a candid handbook for women doing business. The reason I did that is that because I had accidentally found myself as a business person, I felt that it would be great to share some tidbits on why and how I got you know, um, into business. Now, how do we de define success? Anybody? You can shout. What's your definition of success in business? You have to know. There can be no blank looks. Abeke, what's your, uh, your definition of success? I think for me it's uh, the number of times of falling and, and grows up. I, I love that. That's really great. So it's great, I think, yeah? Anybody else with another definition? It's waking up to do what I know I'm supposed every, to be doing. Yeah, every time you get up and, and do it. Yeah? I guess. It's creating it's creating impact. So I fall in that organic category. I believe that for me, success is being able to carry, to bring people along with you. Um, it's great to have to see the zeros in, the, in your bank account. Um, but for me, what it really, for, the big thing for me is when you put me down in that ground, I want to know that I raised a number of women to follow the same journey that I did. And that is how a Circles Women in Business started. I just, I love women, I love people actually, not necessarily only women. I love intimate stories, and anybody who knows me, yeah, knows I love to hear the back, back end of why you're doing what you're doing. And as a result of that, just to in, engage my, my passion, um, the idea of Circles Women in Business came about, where I could hear, I had an excuse to listen to authentic stories of uh, female entrepreneurs, but the big, big thing in all this is that I could then, if I know your story, I can then connect you with somebody else who can support you. And I think I've made some connections in this room. Catherine, have I connected you to anybody? Yes. <laughs> I think gosh. I've made one connection, right? Yeah. Um, and so for me, that's what it's about, is you connect women uh, together because I know how women think. I know we love to do things together. And because of that, once you make the connection, the business is able to grow and thrive. And then pay it forward. So you do the same thing. You connect another business and you keep doing that. So Circles of Women in Business was launched in September of 2017, and when we started, the idea was to have bring 25 female entrepreneurs to the room, and at the time, that on that day, we had 57. In fact, we had to move from the room we had put, and we got 57 people. 57 has been the lowest number of female, of women who have attended the event. We don't advertise, I know people always say, what is the event, what is the event? We don't advertise because we don't have enough space to keep the women, and it's a 100% sponsored event. So at, at the top maximum that we get to every time we meet is 120 women who engage, they come together, they share their stories. We highlight um, maybe specific four or five businesses where they can tell their story. And I said it's not about success in terms of numbers or in terms of years. The success is gauged by how, how much abundance the woman has in her to share her authentic, her authentic story. And um, so we have this year, I think we'll only have five events, um, simply because we also have businesses to run. But I hope, I hope to see a lot of women who would like to attend to just give me their contacts and I would love to put you on board. Yeah, so thank you. And of course, we'll be hearing a little bit more from her uh, when we do get to the panel session. So yes, there was a oh. panel session uh, and it shall be coming. Um, I have seen a gentleman who's been here with us, Mr. Nicolas Sampanya. Thank you so very much for coming. I will be welcoming you on stage uh, slightly after. He's the CEO for Magana Flowers, and he's been such a consistent sponsor of everything that we have been doing. We sincerely appreciate your presence. What exactly is uh, Win Africa? I'd like to invite um, our tech uh, to please play for us a video a little bit about Win Africa, and then we can pick it up from there. 